here is Uncle Laurie Ear from Uncle Shaves and today I'm just doing a bit of a demonstration I'm doing a demonstration to show how I make my leather uh, leathering there's many different methods of uh, leathering but the method I'm demonstrating today which is a bowl leathering method um, is what I use with all my uh, soft soaps or cropes, whatever you want to call them. So um, the soap I'm using for this demonstration comes from Blue Devil Shave Company, uh, Australian product, uh, it's Tropical Colada, which is a lovely tropical peppermint-y scent. And the brush I use for the demonstration, which I've had soaking already, is the um, Shave by Dave brush um, brush handle with the uh, high density bore knot, 26 mil. So the first thing you do is get a sample. I use a reasonable size sample, about this size, which is about the size of an almond, which is somewhere between two and three grams, um, roughly. We don't have to be that accurate. And the bowl I'm using is just the um, fine accoutrements leathering bowl, which I use quite a bit. I like this bowl. Now the first thing we do, it's a dry, completely dry bowl, is squash that sample around the bottom, spread it right out the bottom of the bowl, spread it right out, move it around, you don't have to around the bottom of the bowl like that all right all right the next steps I'll have to change the camera position so um, the camera actually points down into the bowl and you can see what I'm doing so just wait a minute and I'll um, change the camera angle hi I'm back again Just getting the bowl in a good position. Now, the, the brush is quite moist at the moment. What I do is um, I'll shake that out into the sink here. So, check it out completely, Nelly. And so you just have a moist brush. So it's just moist. And, and then I put a few Drips of water into the bowl. I just move that around a little bit. Get things started. And then we start swirling, not splaying the brush at this stage, just swirling the tips over the top of the soap. We just want to create a, a paste, pasty texture. Just swirl backwards and forwards. Look, clockwise and then anti-clockwise. Also, we can go backwards and forwards to try and gather the soap up on the brush. Because of the um, the notches on this bowl uh, go across ways. It helps on uh, this bowl to go backwards and forwards as well as the one that's going around. 
just use the tip so don't splay too much we well, don't quite not splay at all as you can see I'm just generating a paste like that once you've pasted up nearly all the soap in the, from the bottom as you can see it's a real paste now we can now start adding water I'll bring my little cup over I've got a little spoon which only small amounts of water I'll put in at a time so if it keeps swirling that around no splaying at this stage we'll try not to splay just use the tip of the brush move the the paste around it's still paste at this stage and we can put another spoonful of water in it's not a teaspoon it's probably about a quarter teaspoon of water at a time just incorporate that into the soap See, it's still pasty, but you can see it's, it's got a shine to it. So I'll give it another spoonful of water. As you can see, it's quite creamy at this stage. You keep adding water. Do another spoonful. Actually, that wasn't only a small one, so I put a bit more in. You can now splay it a bit, start building up volume. As you might be able to see that all the soap has now been incorporated from the bottom of the bowl into the leather. See already it's a nice texture. And then you just add water until you're happy with the thickness of your lather. As you can probably see it's got a lovely sheen, lovely sheen to it. I'm trying to see where I've got the camera. Already lovely. I'll just do a little bit more water. I like it to not quite as um, what do you call it? sticky, I suppose. A little bit more runny. It's starting to look like the consistency I normally use. Yeah. So I'll just incorporate that last bit of water. That will be what I would use in my shave. I could use a bit more water, even. And there we have it. Peaky, shiny leather. Alright,
Yep. There we go. I'm just moving it around so I can get it into the camera. All right. Thank you uh, for watching, and I hope uh, that helps some people and gives them maybe an idea of how to create their own leather. This is only how I use it on the soft uh, crepey soaps. I'll uh, probably do another demonstration of how I do the creams and hard soaps later on. Thank you.